Okay, so about a month ago, I was looking for this one particular podcast episode with Joe Rogan, where he talks about Bitcoin for a little bit, and I wanted to re-listen to that. And all I remembered was a quote from that episode. So I went to Google to try to find it, but I couldn't. So then I thought that it kind of really sucks that you can't Google things from podcasts because it's all like audio or video format and no text. So Googling like a quote from a podcast doesn't usually give you a result. But I knew that there are some really good machine learning libraries in Python that can turn speech into text. So then I thought, what if I actually wrote a script that turns every Joe Rogan podcast episode ever into text? That way I can just simply control F through that long ass text file until I find the episode with the quote that I'm looking for. So I got to work. Little did I know that this would turn into like a fully fledged Google for Joe Rogan. So the first part to this was a fairly simple task. First, I needed to download every Joe Rogan podcast episode from YouTube, which I did using a little web scraping with Selenium combined with YouTube DL. However, as Joe Rogan has moved to Spotify, I found that he has actually removed all of the full prior episodes from his main channel, which kind of sucks. But he also has his other channel called JRE Clips, where he posts lots of shorter videos from every podcast. So that will do for now as a proof of concept. So I scraped this website, essentially the JRE Clips YouTube channel, and downloaded all of the WAV files for all the different clips. And next, I found a Python library called Speech Recognition. And this is what I used to turn the audio into text. And this only accepts WAV files, or it only works with WAV files, which is why I needed them. And then I saved the text into a simple JSON file, and that's it. Almost. Uh, there was actually 5,394 videos on his channel, the JRE Clips channel, and they now needed to be translated into text. So if it only took 30 seconds per video, it would still take 44 hours to go through all of the videos. So I essentially left my computer running for 11 days to get through all of them. Okay, so uh, this has now been running for the past 11 days, which is a long time to try to get all of these episodes transcribed. And this is a long ass JSON file with all of the 5,900 and something videos that have been transcribed. So <laughs> my computer's been running nonstop trying to get this to work. But now let's try it out, see if it actually, like if it does what I kind of wanted it to do. Uh, so let's control F through this thing. Let's see how many times he said UFOs. It's 369 matches. So he said that quite a lot. Okay, so as I was doing this, I realized two things. First, it was a lot of fun just seeing how many times he's actually said different like weird words. And secondly, searching through a JSON file was not the best user experience. Okay, so last night I uh, wasn't really able to fall asleep because I came up with this idea that I thought it'd be kind of funny if I turned this thing into like a Google for Joe Rogan where you could just like search for different things uh, from the Joe Rogan podcast. And so this morning I spent a little bit of time trying to come up with like what would be a funny name for this site. So I wanted to come up with something that's like a combination of Google and Joe Rogan. So uh, I searched for a couple of different things and tried to find one that was actually available as a domain for the website. And uh, I came up with the name Go Rogan, so like Google, but like GoRogan.com. And that was actually available, so uh, I bought it. So I guess now we're making like a really cheap knockoff version of Google, like a Joe Rogan Google. Yeah. And so I did. The first thing I had to do was figure out like what the best way of actually doing this was. And the first part to that is actually figuring out where I would host this website. So I got in contact with my friends over at Hostinger and asked them if they wanted to be a part of this project, which they did. So thank you to Hostinger for sponsoring this project. So as the hosting of the site was now taken care of, the next thing that I needed to do was create a database using PostgreSQL and then port that data from the JSON file into my Postgres database. 
And then I needed to create a website using Flask and Python that could then be used to query that database. Which meant that I had to become an expert at HTML and CSS, because to my embarrassment, I didn't actually know this, but don't you worry because now I've completely mastered it, as you can tell by this masterpiece of web design that you see before you. I know what you're thinking and uh, yes, I have definitely entered my web design into every web design award competition that I could find. I'm expecting an answer any day now. After the site was done, I just SSH'd into my VPS, which was super simple. And I was expecting this to be way more complicated, but hosting it really made this super simple. And if a VPS sounds a bit too intimidating for you, then they also have shared hosting plans. Plus, if you get stuck, they have 24-7, 365 customer support via chat that I've actually used, and that's really good. So they'll definitely be able to help you with any problems that you may run into. They're also very price competitive, so I highly recommend them. And if you go to hostinger.com slash cal and use the coupon code cal with capital letters, then you get 91% off a yearly hosting plan. The final steps were just to install and launch an Apache 2 web server on my VPS. And then I used this tutorial to get my website to run on the Apache 2 web server. And then the final step was just to point my domain to the server. All right, so now it's actually live and uh, ready to, uh, it's public so people can actually find it. And uh, let's actually look through some things and see what we can find. So go rogan.com. And we have this, like it's basically just a cheap knockoff of Google. Um, and I actually wanna see like how many times does he actually say entirely possible? Cause that's like one of the things that's very common in his uh, podcast is that he says entirely possible. Entirely possible. Okay, he says, so I added this thing where you can see that it says like how many times he's actually said it. And it's 91 times, which I don't know if that's a lot. I guess it's kind of a lot considering like how many podcasts he do he's done. He's actually said it a fair amount of times, but it's not as much as I thought it would be. Maybe let's look up how many times he actually says like alien or aliens. Aliens. Okay, <laughs> okay. so he talks about aliens a lot, apparently, 282 times. Okay, but it actually works now, it seems like. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of like more proud than I probably should be. I'm like unreasonably proud of like my creation here. Like I'm super happy about this. And especially like if you look up the thing that I was looking for at the start, which, which was the quote that I had in my head, the number of people who are building apps on top of Bitcoin is a quote that I have in my head. And that was the, the episode that I was trying to find. And if you just search for that here, then you can just straight away, you find this episode that you can click on and you get to this clip. And it also has the, the number of the actual podcast episodes. So you can just, if you want to watch the entire episode, then you can just go to that. Or if you can just, if you just want to watch the, the little clip of where he actually talks about this specific topic, then you can just watch this. But yeah, it works. All right, so go check it out, gorogan.com, and subscribe for more of my epic HTML and CSS skills. And I've also posted the live build out of the script that turned the podcast into text over on my other channel called Live Coder. So if you want to see me do that live, then you can go over there. Other than that, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you in the next one.